Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area. And I'm here to inspire you to love your home and live a more organized life. So it's Vlogmas, but I wanted to uh, do 25 acts of service to my home and to myself. And one of those acts is just to have a little bit of fun. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some of the most outrageously priced organizing products on the market. A lot of you love when I do reaction videos, you are like, please do more. And a lot of you actually like hate them. If you hate them, if you're like, oh, it's looking really negative, is it just, you can just, I'll see you in the next video. It's all good, no hard feelings, you don't have to watch. Bye, you don't have to like write anything like nasty in the comments. I will see you when I do my under bathroom cabinet. But for those of y'all, who like a little bit of snark and who like a little bit of fun, uh, we're gonna take a look at some ridiculously high priced organizing products that you probably don't need. Some of them I actually might kind of want. But just in general, if you are organizing your home, if you are getting rid of stuff, decluttering stuff, you don't need necessarily to go out and buy products. Don't you dare do it before you started decluttering. Don't do it. I just went down a rabbit hole one day when I was on anthropology of all places. This anthropology is quite, the culprit for a lot of these things. Don't get me wrong, I I shop at Anthropology quite quite a quite a bit, but I don't always buy things there because sometimes the prices the prices. So let's sit back, relax, get get a little tea, and we'll take a look at the world of luxury organizing products that you probably don't need, but you might want. Okay, I'm on the Google. The first thing I did when I went down this rabbit hole is I just took pictures of products I found. So let me just go and find the first one in my in my history here. Oh, the Ella Mushroom Basket. Oh, they sell it on like different retailers? Oh my goodness. Well, it's highest on anthropology, so we're gonna take a look, look at it there. Here we have a $70 basket that's shaped like a mushroom. Granted, it is absolutely adorable. I see that the little door actually opens that is precious. This whimsical basket helps your little one carry their favorite possessions wherever they go. So their your children are carrying this basket like places? Have I want to know if they've seen the way that children take care of their items most of the time. They're not like delicately placing things down and making sure that they don't get dirty. This is a $70 basket that will indeed end up Brokity broke. <laughs> I will hand it to them. This is an adorable basket. I mean, it's cute. They have another light one that's just looks like the, the different color here. Oh yeah, here's the Ollie Ella Kids Mushroom Basket. This one's $60, so this one's a little bit cheaper. Top rated, not quite as pictured, but still adorable. When it's not being played with as a dollhouse, I use it to hold my nail polishes. Okay, and here's the picture. It is cute. It is cute. My four-year-old loves to play house with it using stuffed animals. Okay. I'm so glad I got this. After the price increase and on sale, I was pretty bummed by the former. It's true to the pick. I'm sorry, but it's too cute to let a child destroy. This is for me to play with. US Asian, I agree. It's too cute to let a four-year-old destroy. I think this basket is absolutely adorable. And if you got it like that and you can give your kid a 60 or $70 basket, more power to you. But I think giving them just a bucket is just fine. <laughs> okay, the next offender in the luxury organizing products, I actually kind of want, but the price is ridiculous. My friends, I present to you the $269 spice drawer. Yep. Now the first thing I thought when I looked at this product was how is that $269? Look how small it is in comparison to the rest of the drawer. But then I took some closer looks at it. No, I can't want it. It's kind of sexy. Look at it. Look at the labels. The labels look really nice and it's all uniform and beautiful, but it's too $269. There it is on top of the counter. I mean, it looks fantastic. They make their, it's like a spice company. I guess a luxury spice company, cause this is incredible. Okay, so now they got me thinking about it. You get the bottles, the organizer, and oh, look at the tops. Interesting. 
You get everything for $2.69, so you get like a whole, okay, so like if you just moved into your luxury apartment and you don't have anything, like nothing, you can get this spice organizer. It comes with all the spices, there goes my recommended. It's, it's, it's a lot. You can get this spice organizer and have all your spices. You don't have to buy spices to put in it. Maybe the $2.69 price isn't so bad, but it is luxury. I mean, look, look at it. You know what, everyone loves it. I got nothing bad to say about it. I do kind of want it. I mean, if you already have spices, probably don't do this, but if you're starting from scratch, you have nothing, maybe it's a good investment. 269, this is what 269 gets you. How many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you get 24? No, you get 18. Three times six is 18. You get 18. I don't know. Mixed feelings. You can get the core collection for only 199. still a lot it's still it's still a lot next is a product I have actually considered buying a few times but you don't need oh sign up you don't need it but I've definitely considered it even though it's super expensive this is the simple human a brand I love pet food can it's a can for your pet food and it is a hundred and twenty dollars for the medium size. They also sell a large size for $140 and an extra large size for $150. You may ask yourself, why would I wanna spend over $100 to just dump a bag of pet food <laughs> into a can? And I've often asked myself the same thing, but it is nice. Simple Human does make really lovely products. I do have a Simple Human trash can and they do stand behind their products. They will repair it if something happens to it, uh, you know, within reason. And it's, they're a good brand, but I just thought I would throw it in there because it is a little bit ridiculous. Like it's literally just a pet food can to put your pet food in, there it is. And uh, yeah, they're, oh, that's cute. We're saving the really absurd ones until like later in the video. Okay, I'm aware that some of these things that are also organizing products may be works of art, but I just wanna say that the $228 two-tone rattan basket is a little pricey for what it is. If you got $228 just to put your throw cover in, I mean, it is a beautiful basket, I have to say. It looks amazing. I'm sure it's weaved by hand, but the the price. She is very expensive, even though she's beautiful. Let's take a closer look at the handle there. I mean, it's a rattan basket, besties. I just don't know if I personally, I, Kay Patterson, would be able to drop $228 on it. She's just really expensive. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, friends, that was just the warm up. Now we're getting into the just really ridiculously expensive products. And next we have the Avery Shoe Rack from Anthropology, which is a whopping $168 just for you to put your shoes on and get dirty. It does look luxury with like a gold metal rim there and some shelves that look like driftwood or whatever. Let's like take a look at some boots on it. Oh yes, lovely. You got a probably an expensive basket there with a brush. You put your boots on there when you come home from the, the barn, you know, you, you're you out riding your Frisian. But again, I just want to stress that you're putting your shoes on it. Stave off muddy floors with this shoe rack. Not only is it a perfect place to kick off your shoes, but it also keeps each pair stored and organized in your mudroom or entryway. Not only is it a perfect place to kick off your shoes, but it also keeps each pair stored and organized in your mudroom or entryway. There's something weird with this copy. It keeps each pair organized and stored in your mudroom or entryway. That's enough. Cut it. <laughs> who's, who's their copy editor? Again, I don't think that you need to buy an expensive shoe rack to keep your shoes organized. If you must buy a slightly more luxury shoe rack, I do recommend this one. I recommend, I recognize this one from Open Spaces. This one's a little more expensive, 184, but it is quite heavy. You get what you pay for and it's like a mini bookshelf. It's quite large actually. So if you feel, if you wanna burn some money and you want a shoe rack, this, this is the one you want, I think. <laughs> I love open spaces. It's great. 
It's a great brand. My hypocrite? Maybe. Maybe I am. The Brooke boot tray can be yours for $158, and it is merely a tray for your boots. I mean, it's a gold tray. You can see the gold rim there. Ooh, isn't that fabulous? <laughs> what is this picture? Where's the, oh, is it underneath here? Oh, here's where they have the boots, of course, next to your horse sculpture that you're keeping on the floor. You got your wellies there. Your, oh God, we got a little pair of wellies and a big pair, of, that's cute. If this is your entryway, I want to see the rest of your house because, wow. Oh, there's also another, you can also get the, you can also get it in black. If you didn't like the gold, you can also get it in black. One review, not worth the price. Boot tray arrived and was not impressed with the quality. Finally was able to use it after a rainy day and it leaked water all over the floor. <laughs> so again, you don't need to pay over a hundred dollars for a boot tray. You can get a boot mat for like 20 bucks. It's your money. I don't care how you spend it. If you got it like that and you're like, I need this boot tray, you you do you. But if you're looking for practical advice, I say just don't, you don't need to. Here's a $78 tissue box co cover. Is it a tissue box cover or is it an actual tissue box? Either way, it's $78 and it holds tissues. It holds the little papers that you're gonna take out and blow your nose into and throw them into the garden. That it, it's, it's a vessel for that. It's $78. Product details, hand glazed ceramic, wiped clean with damp cloth, imported. Why is it $78 though? Maybe I don't know what's going on but there is a set of hangers that you can buy that are $299. Okay, yes, this is the essential starter kit for $299 and you get 25 of them. So that's about $12 a hanger, which to me is a little bit expensive, but maybe for you, it seems like a good deal. I just think that these are incredibly expensive. If you have used these hangers, what makes them worth $12 a hanger? I need to know. <laughs> After years of struggling with mismatched and inadequate hanger in my cloak closet, I decided to spring for these. Seemed a little pricey, but they're well worth the cost and 10 was just enough. Well, they got 10, they didn't get the whole set. Everyone's saying it's an investment and it's great. All right, maybe they're worth it. I don't know, are they worth it? Do you have these hangers at home? Let me know. Let me know. What else does this brand, does this brand just make hangers? What's the, oh, they're a German manufacturer since 1948. They've got details like super strong steel, crease-free shapes, and swivel hooks. Hmm, I'd like to check it out. I'm curious now. Hmm, okay. I, I can kind of get the $12 a piece hanger, right? But here we are on Design Italy's website. I understand some of these things are works of art, don't come at me, but this hanger is retailing for 176 euros, but it's on sale for like 141 euros almost. And how much is that in dollars? Okay, right, that's like $147. When I first saw this ad, I thought it was like a set of hangers, uh, but I it's it says it says each, so you can buy one for $147. I don't know what this part of the hanger is for. And here's a group of them. They look like they're dancing. Like I'm just, I'm confused. If you have purchased this hanger or know somebody who has purchased this hanger or are knowledgeable about this hanger, please let me know down in the comments like what's going on with this. Because when I saw this, I was like, wow, that's, ex that's, ex that's expensive. What is going on? with this $1,453 bathroom waste bin. It's a bathroom waste bin that's very tiny and it is $1,400. I, why, what ha why? Oh, you can save $50 on orders over $1,000 with coupon save a lot. I mean, okay. It's 8.2 inches by 8.2 inches by nine inches high. 
Oh, somebody asked a question. What size liners does this waste bin take? It will take 1.5 gallon trash bags or two gallon. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, there's your little can that you get for $1,500. There's a little liner inside with the... It's a trash can. This is a brand called Win Windish, which I guess they've been making really nice trash cans for a long time. And I'm sure their products are super amazing quality. If you want to pay $1,400 for a trash can, that's up to you. But I just I thought we'd take a look at it. If you needed something really expensive to put your dirty clothes in, before they get to the laundry. Fear not, Pigeon and Poodle has you covered with the North Witch Square Hamper for $1,210. Why not just an even $1,200? Why does that have to be $1,210? Available in two colors, a gray and a sand. Quite, is it like a, a snake skin pattern? What's the pattern on it? It's got a little top that you can take off. Um, and you can just, you can throw your dirty, sweaty clothes in there until they're ready for the laundry. Let's, let's view the details, shall we? In a faux chagrin, 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 faux chagrin. What, what is that word? Chagrin. Faux chagrin, not even real chagrin. The North, the North Witch Hamper makes luxury and storage synonymous. A thin wood veneer trim simply highlights the material's stunning pattern and top and side facing cutouts prevent ease of movement from marring its silhouette. Perfect for a bedroom, guest room, bath, or laundry. 12 by 12 by 24, it's so small. Expensive but worth the price, very elegant, okay. They just titled their review, Hamper. <laughs> you go, Danielle R. from uh, New Mexico. I just think some of these things are so funny. Like, I would never pay $1,200 for a hamper, but if you do, can I borrow some money? No, I'm just kidding. I just, if you do, it's totally fine. I love, I love it for you. If you have a lot of jewelry and you're also very wealthy, you can store it in the Agresti Walnut Armored jewelry armoire for $77,000. It is quite lovely. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's got some drawers to store. It's got this little uh, thing on the bottom, which is, I guess is the foot of it. It looks really elegant actually. And this is the close up of the storage. You can store your, your beautiful baubles in here and your very expensive watches. A fancy armored armoire in walnut. It has a round handle with biometric opening device. Oh, an emergency key integrated. Okay, now this, the price is kind of making sense. So biometric opening, so that means you put your like hand on it or your finger to open it, like James Bond or something. That's kind of cool actually. Inside, it has a removable necklace holder and trays for storing jewelry to top everything off. The accessories are completely coated in 24 karat gold? <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me that this is coated in 24 karat gold and the handles and everything too? Oh, I can see now. It's like got this lock, this, this, uh, this door where you can't get, wow, bro. I can't relate but I'm kind of jealous at the same time. This is getting into like the real luxury organization. And you know, I'm just this, I'm not mad at it. Cause if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be storing all of this expensive jewelry and you're gonna be, I mean, I'm not mad at it, I'm not. Now on the same website, this absolutely got my attention. This is a $660 tie holder for just to put your ties in. It's $660 just to organize your, your ties, six of them, or maybe 12 if they're like those little thin ties and you can put two in there maybe. An elegant and practical solution to store ties. Practical? This tie holder is handcrafted of wood and upholstered with black covered faux leather. Also available in other colors, it will make an exquisite gift idea for a loved one. 
You better love them a lot for $660. Please inquire with the concierge for further details on materials and customization options. How, how can this be customized? Can you put your initials on it? Honestly, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Clover, Clover's done too. Clover, do you need the $150 pet food container? Do you need it? I don't think you, you do. You have one that was like $20. <laughs> All right, I thought I would just have a little fun today, do a little snark. I know some of y'all don't like that, but I just, I do. So I'm sorry if you didn't like it. I just wanna let you know that if you're organizing your home, you don't need to spend a ton of money on things. You don't need to even spend money at all most of the time. You just need, you can take things that are already in your house that are, you know, baskets that you already have, drawer organizers you already have. You can either use empty boxes to organize stuff. You don't need to spend a ton of money. If you do, that is your business at more power to you. But just in case you think you need to go out and look, have it look like Pinterest, you don't. You just need to be able to find things when you're looking for them. That is really the main idea. All right. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. Clover and I, we're going to take a nap. $1,500 waste basket.